category of them. But the simplest way to think about this process is that when we get cold, we tend to vasoconstrict. We tend to, our blood vessels tend to constrict and we tend to push energy toward the core of our body to preserve our core organs. Okay, so our periphery, our hands and our feet and our toes and our legs become colder and our core, therefore, can maintain blood to that area and we are insulating our core. Conversely, when we heat up, our blood vessels vasodilate, they expand a bit and more blood flows to our periphery and more blood can move throughout the body generally and we will perspire, we will sweat. Water will actually get pulled out of the blood to some extent, moved up through sweat glands and will be brought to the skin surface so that it can be dumped. We are dumping heat. So it's very important that if you want to understand how you can leverage temperature for physical performance, you have to understand that you have vasoconstriction to conserve heat, vasodilation to dump heat, that you have sweating to dump heat and you have conservation of fluids in order to preserve heat. That's the most important thing in terms of understanding the mechanisms of maintaining and dumping heat. And now the most important thing to understand 